and we're live guys welcome to another episode of good morning crypto only here only on ivan on tech and we are today broadcasting live from a secret location here in stockholm sweden and we're going to discuss tron because tron have been making some moves in order to uh, try and acquire users from bittorrent so as you remember tron actually purchased bittorrent earlier this year justin sun paid um, over 100 million for the uh, for the bittorrent platform so to speak but BitTorrent is, at its core, it is a protocol and we're going to discuss what it means for BitTorrent that Tron is now joining their field and kind of joining their ecosystem by acquiring BitTorrent brand and BitTorrent client. And we're going to discuss what it really means for Tron as well because they of course want to bring as many users as possible to their blockchain. And so I see the chat rolling, very welcome guys, Carlos, Funding Jim. Fabrice, Joshua Lambert, Mike, uh, Bernard, Crypto Dentist, shout out to everyone, Frank, Ja, Guya, very welcome guys, it's amazing to see you here, I wish everyone a good morning, and uh, this is quite important news to discuss about Tron and BitTorrent, because in many ways, I think that the BitTorrent uh, protocol has an issue that we're going to discuss that blockchain can potentially solve. So you will learn that today. And also we're going to talk about how other clients in BitTorrent will react to this because you realize that BitTorrent is a protocol. It has many clients. So although Justin Sun controls BitTorrent client, there are so many other clients that are using BitTorrent protocol. So it's very important to distinguish between the names because BitTorrent means a client but BitTorrent also means the whole protocol that also has other clients. So we're going to discuss that. But looking at the price, what do we have uh, price-wise? We have Bitcoin 1.5%, uh, we have Ether 2.3%, Ripple 3.9%, uh, uh, Bitcoin Cash one point. So, you know, single digit, very low numbers, but still green. So that is good. The big winners today are Noa Coin, Sia Coin, Elastos, Steam, Populous, Crypto.com, and looking at the big losers, we have Eternal Token, Archain, Moac, MadeSafe. So not a lot of big loser, uh, big losers. And I mean, honestly, a few winners, Noa Coin, um, but uh, still, the markets are still quite boring, and we are at around 200 billion in market cap. So this is something that. Uh, is both good and bad. I mean, the good thing is that the newbies that uh, enter the field, that they still are in a position where they are not losing money each and every day, <laughs> which they have done traditionally because many of them entered in during the winter, during the early, you know, January, February, and we've only been losing money. But if you enter now, you know, it's actually quite stable, but also it is quite boring as well. Uh, but the most important part is not the price, it is the actual developments in the crypto space. It is what is actually going on and what kind of movements we see in the industry. And so this is why it's important to discuss Tron and their project Atlas. And so, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Tron have acquired uh, BitTorrent a few months ago for $120 million. And so now they're thinking, okay, what should we do with it? How sh should we use our position in the torrent space? And how should we uh, improve it? How, how do we both improve the BitTorrent protocol, but also improve ourselves, namely Tron blockchain? And so in... Uh, torrents, I mean, uh, if you've used torrents, I'm sure all of you have used torrents at one point in your time. Of course, I'm sure you've never downloaded anything illegal because uh, who would do that? But anyway, we have the situation with incentives that when you download the file on BitTorrent using the BitTorrent protocol, uh, it is really no incentive for you to share it. I mean, why should you continue sharing it? And in many cases, people don't want to share their files. Once, once you finish downloading, many people do not uh, continue seeding the file to other people. And the reason is because there's no incentive. I mean, why should I do it? The only incentive is to keep, um, uh, is to keep the network running and to keep the network in a good health. And so that is why you see uh, so you see people seizing. But other than that, there's no financial incentive. And also people don't want to seed sometimes because they are afraid of law enforcement. Uh, because if you're seizing a file on uh, BitTorrent, maybe you have downloaded something from Pirate Bay and now you're seizing that file, uh, you might get in trouble in some countries. But now, what Tron want to do is that they, uh, uh, they want to give you tokens for... Uh, uh, seeding files. So basically, 
you currently have no incentive, but seeders will be able to earn tokens for their bandwidth and storage. And this is, I mean, honestly, this is a good use case of blockchain technology when it comes to incentives. Because yes, this is something that is true for BitTorrent, that there is no incentive. That being said, BitTorrent and all of these other platforms still work great, because there are enough people that are still seeding without any financial incentive, just because they want the network to continue running. So there is no issue currently, but it might improve the network it might get the network to a whole other level when it comes to speed and performance if you actually start rewarding people and this is kind of like you get uh, uh, in bitcoin when you have a bitcoin node you don't really have any incentive to run a node uh, so th th there are actually similar uh, similar uh, incentive issues in bitcoin and BitTorrent because uh, the only reason you would really want a node to be running is if you have a business i mean you have a business that you need to uh, and you need to rely on the truth on the blockchain you need to have 100 percent security and one 100% certainty that you're getting the correct information from the blockchain. So that is the only reason you really might need to run a full node to have the 100% uh, connection to the blockchain and have it yourself and not rely on a third party. But other than that, I mean, what is your incentive to be running a Bitcoin node? Not a lot of incentives, to be honest. And so the same is with uh, BitTorrent. And so now uh, Tr Tron wants to create this new incentive structure that you can... Uh, as a leecher, you can spend tokens to incentivize users with faster networks to seed torrents for longer. So if I want to download a file from BitTorrent now, I can offer people some tokens. And uh, it might we might be in this situation where you have uh, fees so that you actually need to pay in order to download. And the question is, will this be a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, first of all, we need to uh, state that this is completely optional. I mean, this paying for uh, uh, for bandwidth and paying for faster download on the network uh, will be uh, optional. So participating in the tokenized bit. Uh, torrent economy will remain optional but also you realize if it is the case that people start um, using these tokens more and more and the seeders the people who are uh, uploading files and giving it to the rest of the network uh, they will of course pick the uh, the clients that give them the most tokens if this functionality is developed further and you can pay for someone to uh, to someone to give you the file of course it, it, the people who don't pay will not be prioritized so it will be like in the bitcoin network today yes it is true that you can try to send a transaction on a bitcoin network without having any fees uh, this is something quite interesting guys you know that fees on the bitcoin network are completely optional i mean you can create a bitcoin transaction without any fees it's completely up to you but the issue is that no one will accept it. Uh, the miners will not uh, take it as a transaction because there are so many other transactions that actually offer fees. So I, I'm afraid it might be a similar development with BitTorrent as well, that you have uh, BitTorrent where it is optional to pay with tokens, but it is practically, on a practical level, it is mandatory because no one will it will stream to you, will not give you any files. So this is a few questions I have exactly how it's going to be developed and how, how, the, how the network will evolve. But nonetheless, I think we need to realize that this is quite significant. In my view, uh, in my view, this is quite significant for BitTorrent and for Tron, uh, because BitTorrent clearly has an incentive issue and Tron sees their chance to get some new users to their blockchain. Okay, guys, what is happening in the chat? BitTorrent need to be free, says Fabrice. Yes, I completely agree with you. Uh, we have Crypto Cash, Charlie. I only learned how to download in 2009, but got into Bitcoin in 14. Nice, nice, nice. So, guys, th that is the first news. And then I have another news that I also want to share with you, namely the block that one situation. So. Uh, you might have heard uh, about the fact that we have voting cartels on EOS, um, basically block producers uh, uh, voting for other block producers and uh, paying each other in order to uh, vote for each other, things like that. And basically you have the uh, arrival, the emergence of these <clears throat> voting cartels. And uh, the news is that, <clears throat> sorry guys, 
The news is that Block.1, uh, the company behind Dios, are now stepping into the field and basically saying, you know what, uh, we will not tolerate this and we will actually use our voting power in order to prevent this. And so traditionally and uh, from the beginning of the whole EOS network, Block that one said that we will not uh, be part of the voting at all, we will stay out of the voting, we will not be an active participant and vote with our tokens. And you realize that the block that one has significant power because uh, they have about 10% of the EOS tokens. But now with this situation with voting cartels and uh, I mean this uh, cultural uh, differences between East and West, uh, you, you see that it's not really working out for them. And now they are trying to solve this by stepping into the field and combat voting cartels. So basically, we have the article from Toshi Times here saying that to combat vo voting cartels which m may be emerging in its delegated proof-of-stake governance system. The EOS network is secured by a consensus algorithm through which block producers are elected. So if you have tokens on EOS, you can vote for block producers. But we've seen with, for example, Huobi, we we've seen with um, other players as well that uh, block producers are uh, paying each other to vote for each other or they might uh, say to a block producer you know what we will vote for you but you need to share your revenue with us so there's a lot of uh, uh, alleged i mean it's, it's all alleged there's so hard it's so hard to prove anything but allegedly there is a lot of corruption and a lot of uh, voting cartels going on behind the scenes and so now uh block that one wants to resolve it by potentially voting out bad uh, bad players and of course whenever you have such a situation people are starting to question the uh, the decentralization with EOS people are starting to question whether uh, this governance model will work out but all in all this is a huge experiment i mean obviously this is a huge experiment when it comes to governance when it comes to uh, when it comes to governing a computer network that is uh, a, a blockchain network so for me, it's interesting to see how they resolve it. And you realize that, for example, Tron in, is in a very similar situation because they have a very similar governance model. Uh, and it's also going to be interesting to see how Tron resolves their issue. But there is a lot of focus on the governance when it comes to EOS right now. And uh, I think we will see more and more developments on EOS as well. Uh, but currently, there is a fundamental issue with this voting uh, uh, cartel situation that we have going on. And uh, let me know, guys, what you think. Because you realize that with all of these blockchain projects, it is all about game theory. It's all about how different uh, players behave in this, uh, in this network that is very dynamic, very fluid. So from the beginning, it is al almost impossible to predict everything. It's almost impossible to say exactly how people will behave and how the network will work out. So that is something to realize. Fabrice says, EOS is too much political, you can't keep everyone happy. That is true. When it comes to EOS, you have a lot, uh, you basically have a human layer. And when it, when it comes to a human layer, it's always politics, it's always bureaucracy, and uh, this is the path they have chosen for, for them. But the, I mean, the upside is scalability, the upside is uh, that you can uh, run applications that are more uh, suitable for different use cases on the internet, you know, you have better user interface where you don't have to pay for gas, so, I mean, it's, it's pro pros and cons, and as I always say, I think, for example, Ether and um, the Ethereum platform and EOS have completely different use cases, and they're not completely competing with each other. Voting system is rubbish, says Marcio. Uh, hi guys, Thomas Ott. Uh, okay guys, that is it for today. I hope you learned something. I will try to keep these streams a bit shorter and a bit more compact, maybe up to 15 minutes. Usually we are at about 20 minutes. So I think uh, a more compact format is something that could be better, but let me know what you think. I also see people asking about Dragon Chain. Uh, yeah, you know what? I will be looking at Dragon Chain. Uh, I've heard, uh, uh, you know, many people have asked me to cover Dragon Chain, so I, I think we will do that funding gym. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, smash the likes, as always. I uh, have completely forgot to tell you, but absolutely do that. And I'll see you all tomorrow for Good Morning Crypto. So, have a great day. Enjoy your, what is it? Enjoy your Thursday. And goodbye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye.